Good morning, welcome to the new flat outsider. And today we're in my hometown of Alamort and we're going cod fishing. My wife Denise is with me. We're going to catch some codfish. We're going to go ashore on the islands and have a big cook up. So it's going to be a great show. If you like these videos, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and we'll keep on coming as much as we can. Okay, we got our fish first fish. Whoa, nice one. <laughs> so to keep your fish fresh, you can cut their throat and their belly, or you can pop their gills. You can use a knife to cut them, or you can just pop them like that. That'll bleed them out and make them really fresh when you get in. I think Denise got one. Let's see. Pull it. Oh, that's a nice one. <laughs> that's a beauty. Yeah, nice white fish too. So we're in 21 fathoms of water right now. Yeah, I got two. <laughs> two nice cod, beauties. Oh yeah, that's a little one. A little one, but it's smaller. But that's a great fish. Nice one though. Okay, you should put warning signs in your uh, line. They're just little knots you put. 
Now we put ours every fathom apart or every six feet apart or two meters. And that just lets you know when your hook is getting close to the top because if you uh, keep going really fast, that jigger or anline could come in over the boat and hit you in the head. So we just tie little knots in it <clears throat> every six feet so that you be warned that your jigger is coming. So you got three knots and then finally, boom. You don't want that coming up and hitting you in the head. Another one on. Ah, that's a nice fish. Gills. Reach in there and pop that so they bleed out like that. Okay, we got lots of fish here today. Denise got another one on. Big one this time. Feel big? Uh, yeah, big. big one. Ooh, he's down a long ways. We're in a little bit deeper water now. We're in 300 feet of water. Let's see what you got. Whoa, you got a nice one. <laughs> Good job. Uh, yeah, see him coming up there. Hey, it's a little one. We're going to release that one. Release them. Okay, herring gulls have a little red spot on the bottom of their beak. You see that little spot there? And that's for the chicks. That's where they pick at to get mom to regurgitate her food so they can get fed. And that's a younger herring gull. You can see its uh, feathers aren't white and gray yet. Good morning. Warm now. Fish here or what? Oh yeah. This is our foghorn in Alamort. It's a QX. QX means the Alamort entrance. The foghorn is quieting down quite a bit now because the fog and the mist of the morning is gone. So each foghorn is tuned for a different spot and they're all tuned from a 200 hertz to 850 hertz. That means it's got a very long wavelength so it can carry a long ways over the ocean. Long wavelengths are better on the ocean because it can go around the islands and the rocks and get that sound everywhere you need to get it. The 
the reason they got um, different frequencies for different harbors is because if you were lost at sea and you know all the different sounds so all the more here we got a low frequency it's got one steady bellow so if you were lost you knew you were close to all mort and as you go down the coast the bird islands their frequency is a little different and their tone is a little different and then on down to rose blanche their tone is a little different again so you know where you are if you were lost so yeah that's how a foghorn or a groaner as we call it works We had a wonderful morning fishing, so we brought our fish back to the house because it was getting really warm, so we had to process it and bring it in the freezer, and we got changed. So now we're back on the islands, and we're going to have some codfish for our supper.
I was bound for leaving But I didn't know where All the things that kept me there I couldn't find them anywhere But a phone call this morning It nearly brought me to my knees Now I'm heading back home again Thinking of the words that you said to me We were riding down a bumpy road To the place where you were born I can see you riding shotgun and it didn't mean much to me When you turned and said to me That home is just a frozen frame For one place and one time you Okay. A lot or little? Uh, that's good. To start. Might need a little warm up on our team. 